Hello everyone, this is Avery, and I'm back to you with another video on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1987 Vintage Collection. These are Walmart exclusive collectibles, four figures as of right now, including the party wagon. The individual turtles are $12.99, the party wagon is $34.99. That at least is how it is here in Louisville, Kentucky. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging and then we'll move on right to the figures. So first taking a look at these Ninja Turtle packagings, we can see they are all very identical. However, there is a very small difference between them. So first of all, they all have a green shell with the name of the turtle on each. However, they also, even though it's the same pattern in the background, for the most part, actually, no, it's not even the same pattern. Never mind. There are subtle changes to the backgrounds, specifically at the top. But no, you can see three images of each turtle sitting, if the glare doesn't kill it, of the individual turtles. And I believe this art is just to justify the very odd sculpted nature of the figures, but I could be wrong. Taking a look at the back of the packaging, you can see all figures have all four figures here. A quick bio, along with some information on the turtles and their lore, with some legalese at the bottom. And they're all pretty good. It is the same artwork style as on the front of the packaging and still holds up just like it did in 1987. Taking a quick look at the packaging for the party wagon, you can see that the front is a more serious, at least it looks more serious, it looks more like a comic book and just inspired by the animated series because as you can tell, he looks like the mascot for Disturbed. He looks like Raphael, even though it's Michelangelo. And yeah. So, there is a picture of the collectible itself. You can see the whole thing right here on a very nice artwork. The top shows the features and the playset with all of the figures included, which they are not included. Same right there. On the back, it shows you the name of everything, which is... It's pretty entertaining, I'm not going to lie. That's a pretty entertaining thing. I'll hold that right there for a second if you would like to pause the video and read this. Cool. So, you got some images. It shows you everything. Same thing again on that side. The bottom of the package is the exact same thing. So, there we go. Party wagon complete. Alright, so here we have the figures out of the packaging. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice set of figures and a nice colorful little party wagon so um i like this i think it's a lot of fun it's very colorful again it has the details it had in 1987 and i can appreciate the work they put into remolding repainting and re releasing all these sets so what we're going to do real quick is we're going to look at the individual figures and then we're going to take a look at the party wagon so first of all, taking a look at Raphael, my favorite of the Ninja Turtles. As you can see, he comes with his size and he comes with a weapons rack that includes all these weapons that no one has ever known the name to. As you can tell, they are sculpted cartoony. They're very soft in the sculpt. They're definitely flat and fun looking. This does stand up on that back piece. And you are supposed to be able to take off the weapons and actually hang them up on those pegs. So that's a really smart move for somebody in 1987 to have such an intricate detail in a kid's toy. But taking a look at Raphael up close, as you can see if my camera is actually focused, his teeth look soft, but they look nice. His head is slightly a rubber material and I mean slightly it looks like a rubber material and it is squishable but you have to apply a great amount of force for it to actually do that so don't look forward to it being just like the original in that in that manner 
Anyways, he has one eye that is rounded in sculpt and one eye that is triangular. You know, a lot sharper looking, almost like a Spider-Man eye. His teeth are gritted. He has veins sculpted. He has the darker color matte painted shell. A glossy olive green color, or not olive green. Um, I don't know what kind of green you would say. It's like a bluish green. It's a bluish green color, definitely. It does look a little bit more of a lighter green in person than it does on camera, but it still looks really, really good. And so as far as his articulation is concerned, um, his head does rotate, and I have to do this with one hand. I don't have a tripod or anything yet. But his uh, head does rotate. His arms move up and down. One arm rotates at the elbow. The other one does too, but it rotates at a different angle. It's kind of like forced into a bent position. And his legs completely move out, move inward. He kicks out at a weird angle, but... I mean, that's what you got for a 1987 action figure, and it's going to be difficult to get him to stand up with one hand, but I can do it nonetheless. I have heard people complain that these figures do not stand up well at all. However, I would like to mention they do stand up just fine. You just have to know what you're doing with them in order to have them stand up with ease. Not to say anybody's at fault for not knowing how. You just have to learn how before you complain that they don't stand. Because they do, it's just, you get it. But, Raphael looks fantastic. And as it was with Raphael, Donatello comes with a weapons rack and his weapon. He does include two of these bow staffs. I just forgot to pull the other one out. However... Again, same exact weapons, still on that stand. He has a very nice bow staff. He has two of them, actually, and they do holster in his back, just like Raphael's holster in his front. He has a matte-painted green-looking shell, a super dark green. And he has a brownish green color to his skin which i do like because it does differentiate the turtles a little bit more he does have a lot more of an angry look definitely more prominent with a nose sculpt if that is supposed to be his nose i can't really tell i'm not a professional in the anatomy of a turtle especially a cartoon mutated turtle but he has a foot sculpted up like a tip on you know on the tip of his toes and his other foot is flat that does make him a little bit more difficult to stand but as you can tell if i just move him a little stands perfect as far as articulation goes it is the exact same thing as Raphael. obviously the sculpt will defer the way he can be posed however it is exactly the same articulation Moving on to Michelangelo, he has, again, the exact same weapons rack. So, he has these nunchucks. They are not brittle. They are bendable. They are very, very pliable. I wouldn't force them too much, but they are pliable. He definitely has more of a squinted look. He's got teeth showing on one side of his face. He has the same colored shell, but a much, much nicer green color. Honestly, it's my favorite color palette for a turtle. And uh, he has the opposite foot in a tiptoed position. And I've noticed his belt actually came off when I took him out of the package. It just pins in in the middle. It's kind of weird. It's like loosely applied, stored for uh, nunchucks and... Stands up just fine as well. I'm going to keep making that a obvious point in my video just because. <laughs> because I can. But uh, his articulation is exactly the same as them. Swivels in the elbows. Shoulder swivels. I'm guessing it's sort of a ball joint in the legs. And that is it. Well, in a swiveled head. But again, the way they're pre-posed defers the way that they pose. But that's it. 
Last, but certainly not least, we have Leonardo. So again, weapons rack. So again, same articulation. He has a darker, but not quite as dark as uh, Donatello skin tone. Same colored shell, nice bits on the back to hold his swords. Very fun looking swords. And his teeth are grinning on the opposite side, and his eyes are very far apart and sort of slanted. It's kind of funny. But again, articulation is also the same on him. He has a toe tipped up too. Most of them do, except Raphael, which I'm not sure why they made that decision, but I'm not going to argue with it. He's still a fantastic and fun figure as well. All right, and here we have the party wagon out and beautiful as ever. So with this set, it is a, it, you can see it based on the size of my hand. It's a pretty big thing, not terribly big, but it's big enough for $35. It has a lot of cool features and I really like it. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the details. So as you can see, it has this square, almost calculator looking pattern on the side. Not sure why. It says foot stinks, which is pretty funny and you know, juvenile. Has window stickers. All of the stickers are pre-applied. You do not place any stickers on the set yourself. All you have to do to assemble it is put this piece on and put all these orange pieces on. That's it. Not that one, just those. So it does say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the top, which is pretty fun. More windows in the back, as well as an engine, which is a sticker. More windows on the side. It says, it's a slam party time, bam, pow, and conk. It says, slam, oh, it says, it's party time, slam, bam, pow, and conk. Okay. Foot stinks again. Obviously, a window that's not actually a sticker. Two windows in the front, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and the little grin for the turtles. This is pretty cool so far. So you have the satellite. I'm assuming it's sort of a satellite, something that you use as a radar or to, uh, maybe it's for April O'Neil to do her news reports. I'm not entirely sure. You can tell me in the comments how wrong I am. It's fine. Um, he has the windows right here. He has little cannons up there, I guess. In the instructions, this is called the tenderizer, which I think is pretty funny. So how this feature works is you just put your hand back here and flip it up. And that thing will slide out. And you missed it because my camera wasn't at the right angle. But these... These little rocket things, they will just, they will roll right out as this is swinging out. And as you can see, there's little pegs on the side here. And that is because you can take a rubber band that I'm pretty sure I put inside of this fan earlier while I was doing something. Yep, it's in there. It's in there. I'm trying to get it out. It's kind of stuck in there. There it is. So you get two of these rubber bands and you just hook it to one side of this thing and hold it across to hold a turtle in place. It is really stiff, but I think it's nice that it is because it just allows for a more secure hold. Now the inside of this thing, you can see the front seat. It has a nice middle console sort of thing going on. It's got the window view. It's pretty spacious. Here in the back, you can see there's a lot more space. It says it holds up to six figures, and I guess that is true. Two in the front, two right there, one right there, and one in the sliding thing that will go in. But past that, um, this just closes. So the way that works is there's this little pin right here that will slide into that slot right there when that is lined up with that. But um, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun to look at. I'm sorry if my camera is not focusing quite well. But as you can see, it's a pretty cool thing. Um, 
The turtles do not really sit in it well. Uh, you do have to like move their legs in a really odd manner to actually get them to sit down. I'll go ahead and demonstrate with Raphael. So you just take his legs, you know, push his legs up as wide as you can. Now he is advertised as driving this um, special vehicle. So if I can just slide him in here real quick. Yeah, just sliding him in there real quick and trying to get him moving. As you can see, he sits in there pretty nicely. Yes, he looks really weird from certain angles, but that is like the only way you're really going to get him to sit down, is doing that. But past that, this set's actually really cool. Oh yeah, that's right. So you can lower this. And you can take this part off, if I can get it to come off. And you've got a turtle tank sort of situation. So that's also really cool. So as far as this set goes, I think it's a lot of fun. It does have a few features, not a terrible ton. But that's the point of a play set is a kid can imagine what they're doing. Or an adult can if what they want to do with their day is be a kid again. Which, I see nothing wrong with that. Alright, so let's go ahead into some comparisons, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Alright, and for some size comparisons, I'm going to go ahead and show you the Vintage Collection Turtles next to... That is my cat Jasper. So, um, I'm going to show you the comparison between the Turtles and... Um, the Super 7 counterparts, because the Super 7 counterparts are designed to mimic the vintage toys. So going ahead to take a look at Raphael first. As you can see, if my camera will focus, he is a great deal bigger. And definitely some darker red colors compared to the original toy. The green is close enough, but slightly darker again on the Super 7 version. I did try to mimic their poses, and as you can tell, even with the vintage collection head on him, it still doesn't look quite as goofy as the original, but I still love it, and I think this is a complementary piece to the vintage toy especially considering that they are based on the same exact thing. Now, as far as Donatello and Donatello, um, they are in the same exact category, except it's a little different. He is a lighter color than the vintage toy. His purple is much more of a purple color than the vintage toy. And I know I'm speaking more about their differences rather than their differences, but that's because most people are really trying to get the Super 7, not the vintage toys, but knowing how they work together gives you a better idea if you want to have them displayed like that together, or if it will look a little off in your display. But again, so their bow stats look close, but not exactly the same. They are sculpted differently. And he is a lot taller. They are a lot taller and a lot more menacing than the original toys. Uh, coming over to Leonardo, I couldn't get them in quite the same pose because my Leonardo Super 7's knee does not bend for some reason. I'm obviously not talking about that knee. I'm talking about the other one. But I, I think they look incredibly close. Their faces are obviously very different. His belt is very, very, very different, but they're still pretty good. Again, extremely tall. Michelangelo is the best one. The be Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Their greens are exactly the same. That is impressive. But Michelangelo is the most impressive one. The head matches closest to the original toy. The color is extremely close. The faithfulness to the original toy is a lot more there. And even though their toy nunchucks look very different from each other, 
Um, I think this is like the best matching set, honestly. And I, I think all of them match fairly good. If you're not like trying to find differences, they look exactly like each other, except obvious differences. But if you're not trying to find those differences, they look exactly the same. It's really cool. That is really neat. And for my final comparison, I'm showing them off next to the NECA metal head. Well, Chrome Dome. It's Chrome Dome, I'm sorry. The NECA Chrome Dome figure. So, um, this uh, figure is people's probably one of their favorite villain figures that's been released by NECA, just considering how massive it is in general. However, if you look at the turtles compared to him, it is a massive difference, and I think that is perfect. So if you're looking for something more close to what their encounter was like in the cartoon, this is probably going to be the best matchup you're going to get, because they do look goofy, and he is a goofy character pretty much, just if you focus solely on his concept and what he was used for, he he's kind of goofy as cool as he looks. So I would say this is probably going to be your best scaled representation and definitely worth having in a display together. All right, guys, so that was my video. Overall, I would say that this set is incredible. For something made in 1987, holding up as valued figures all the way to 2022, this set was technically released in 2021. I just recently acquired it. They are restocking these at Walmarts around the country regularly. It is a little hard to find them, but if you regularly go to Walmart, you will eventually find them, or they will be available on the website as they are. Some of the figures are not, some of them are. It really does depend on their immediate availability. But overall, the set is fantastic. Posable figures, they stand well. Their accessories are all similar, but still very fun. Paired with the party wagon, it is a very fun set. They work together. It is displayable, even for an adult collector with a lot of NECA figures right up there. I would say this set works perfectly fine with any and all TMNT toys. And you will definitely not be upset if you spent the money on this whole set. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Like if you like it, and I will see you all in the next video.